Hi. For those people who've been on my channel before, I'm Mr. Whirly Gig, and I make Whirly Gigs as a hobby. A lot of people saw the uh, way I make my propellers for the Whirly Gigs, and they showed some interest on how I actually carry on with the process and how I finished up with with my well I powertrain the bed that I put all my whirly gigs on. I decided because I make about a dozen different designs of whirly gigs I should really standardize the bed. So what I actually in fact do is, is, is make these like this already and then I can put on whatever you know whatever model I want to you know I can put on uh, you know yeah, yeah I, I can put on the, the chap who's throwing the ball for the dog, or I can put on wood, the, you know, the wood chopper. Obviously, I haven't got his bottom on at the moment. Uh, I did some bottoms out there. There's them. There's the bottom, and that just fits on. And they all sort of just fit on the same, the same bed. And this way, uh, I can sort of standardise things, which is easier because I can get beds made and propellers made, and then as the orders come in for the whirly gigs it's quite quick to actually assemble one. So the interest people wanted to know is how I finished up with this idea. You know, as people have seen it before, you know, the propeller chest screws on there with a, uh, with a wing nut. I had numerous ideas and if you go on YouTube you see different people have different ideas. Some people have do this with gears and wood and some put it underneath and have holes coming up underneath so the drives come up to that and yeah all very good but when you're you've got to do these yeah not in bulk but you know two or three a week you've got to just standardize things so eventually I, I finished up with this and this size we did do originally I'm sure people saw on the original one this is one of my first design ones this is all done with you know 10 mil rod and everything but it was just a little bit over yeah belts and braces too strong too strong really so i went down in size and finished up with what i got here so what so what do we do well we start we obviously started with with a block uh why that length that length really because it sort of it it, it, it gives the a little bit so it doesn't work. I think if it was any smaller you would possibly get some movement that way so I, I, I decided with that that length uh, which is 50 50 look at that 50 there we go he can cut that quick can't he 50 so we did that and they came out of this wood here that I got from the timber merchants this is the same wood that I use for doing the stands and all I do is, is just cut them off and off, off we go. Right, so what what did we decide next? Well, how to get the power from this rod to uh, on the end there. I, I made metal brackets, square brackets. Oh, I, I tried so many different ways of how to change that to an up and down movement. So I finished up with what I think I always think the easiest is the best sometimes. So what we did, we, uh, I'll, I'll see if I can get this in shot for you. I, I, I just put a flat, a flat bit on the end of the, the threaded bit there. Just, just enough so that I could put a uh, punch, yeah, a little mark there, so I could drill a hole through. And then I just drilled a hole through through the end, I, you know, I, I don't know if you can see that there. Yeah, there we go. Look, there's the hole there. Yeah, I've just drilled a hole through there. And then what we then got is some, some galvanised wire, which is this stuff here, which is the same stuff that I use to move the things up. And that, that's 1.9, so I presume they call that 2. two. And then we just drilled a hole through, as, as I said, we, we, we place... Uh, place that through the hole and we just do it up very tight uh, you know, just make a bracket up that's that's the bracket bracket goes in there like that quite simple do that up 
it's got a shake proof washer on it, nut, shake proof nut, so that goes up very tight. Right. So, with our pieces of wood, we just flattened one surface down, drilled a hole through the top, to more towards the top, like that. And I managed to get hold of, I, 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 I tried this all different ways, uh, you know, I did try drilling, drilling bigger holes and putting, and putting bearings in. Uh, all different way. I thought bearings was a bit overkill because the propeller is so light and you know the whirly gig isn't uh, doesn't weigh a lot. I don't think there's going to be a lot of pressure on on the uh, on the bearings. So in the end I went with these these nylon liners. They're, 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 I don't think they're designed for this. They're not designed for something totally different. But, uh, and then as you can see they're just a uh, a plastic liner with uh, with a nice collar on, and we they just slide in there and slide in there like that. Eventually, never give up the first time. Do 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 do. I'm going to get this in here. Just put the pause going, oh, you make, make yourself all a cup of tea or a coffee. There we go, it's in there. And that fits in there like that. Uh, and that is it. Then we take our uh, our rod, which we'll have, which we'll have the, uh, on the end of it, screwed up tight. That slides through there, quite simple. You can believe it, that hassle to get that in, and then it comes out straight away. Oh, no, it's the other end, isn't it? That just fits on there like that. Then we obviously uh, get the propeller, put the propeller on the end, put a wing nut on it. Then this screws onto the base. You know, again, these, all these bases that all come off off cuts. This was this come out of a bit of six x six timber that I I uh, sliced down on it. A really lovely piece of wood. When I cut it, it smelled it smelled wonderful. Uh, and as you can see, you know, I just do them in bulk, just cut loads of them and just make them up for when I want them. Well, they'd, uh, obviously just uh, fix the bit on, put the propeller on and there you go, that, that's the standard base. Well, thank you very much for watching the uh, video. If you'd like to support my channel, you can do so by uh, obviously sharing and liking and subscribing to the channel but even more i'd appreciate it more if you'd love to buy me a cup of tea so i can dunk my biscuits into it would be greatly appreciated follow the link in the description thank you